Happy New Year to all the viewers of World of Recipes. Welcome to World of Recipes. This is Vaishali. New Year is here and today I am going to make my family's favorite cake for them. That's Black Forest Cake. I am going to show you step wise recipe for the Black Forest Cake so that you can easily make it and surprise your family. Quickly see the ingredients. For making sponge cake, we need 1 cup maida or all purpose flour, 3 tablespoon cocoa powder, 4 small eggs, 4 tablespoon of granulated sugar, and 1 teaspoon of baking powder, melted butter about 2 tablespoons, vanilla essence about 1 teaspoon, canned cherries as per requirement, sugar about 2 tablespoon, whipped cream about 600 milligram, chocolate shavings as per requirement. For making chocolate shavings, take any bar of chocolate and take potato peeler and just run it through I have put this bowl and this blades in the refrigerator for about one hour. I am going to add about 500 milliliter of heavy whipping cream, about teaspoon of vanilla essence, granulated sugar, about two tablespoons, and I am going to beat it on low speed. about 10 minutes of beating we get this desired consistency you can refrigerate it and it take out when you want to dress the cake for detailed recipe you can check my previous videos I start making cake now i have kept my oven for preheating at 180 degrees celsius that is 350 degrees fahrenheit for 10 minutes first i am going to mix this eggs with this granulated sugar And beat this mixture till we get the fluffy and light mixture. Now add one teaspoon of vanilla essence and beat the mixture again. This flavoring is very important. Now the mixture is very light and fluffy. You need to have patience for this. It takes about 10 minutes to do this whisking. Now after this we are going to add all the dry ingredients together. This all purpose flour, cocoa powder and this baking powder and mix them evenly. Now this is done. Now we are going to sift this mixture in egg mixture so that there should be no lumps while making a cake. And we are going to sift this mixture in batches and fold them with the mixture. You can use a spatula and just fold this mixture in egg mixture. Now second batch now again fold it and now last last batch Sure there should be no dry powder in the mix. Now 
now this mixture is even now we are going finally we are going to add this melted butter to this this will give that smooth texture to your cake now this mix is ready now we are going to transfer it to the baking tray you should use smaller baking tray for this purpose my smaller baking tray is spoiled so i'm using this bigger one now i'm going to use this 8 by 8 square uh, baking tray i have greased it with a non-stick spray and i have put uh, parchment paper or the butter paper at the base to be more careful i'm going to transfer this mix into this tray spread it evenly give it a gentle tap and now straight to the oven now i'm going to bake this cake for about 20 minutes and let's check it after 20 minutes Now this cake is ready. Let's check with the skewer. It's coming out clear. The cake is done. It has left all the sides as well. Just remove it from the tray. Uh, so my uh, cake is little thinner now. But while decorating, I'm going to cut it into two halves and I'm going to make a rectangular shape for you. Let me cut it half cake is very soft see you can see how spongy the cake is check the sponge here now let it cool down completely then we'll start decorating it now our cake is completely cooled down as we have cut it in a vertical direction we have not made two pieces horizontally this upper portion of the cake is non-porous so we need to make some pores in this i'm going to poke it with a fork all over so that syrup whatever syrup we are adding should go through and through and make the cake moist nicely everywhere i'm going to do it for both the pieces My fork is going through and through that's what we want now i have made pores on both the pieces of cake now let's start decorating it this can had very thick syrup in the cherries we want little thinner syrup to moisten the cake so i'm going to add little water in this as per requirement now it's easy to easy for me to separate the cherries as well i'm going to separate the cherries first these cherries we are going to decorate it and these are seedless cherries so no need to deseed it now i have removed all the cherries and more Now we'll add sugar to this syrup and we'll check the consistency after that. I'm going to add about 2 tablespoons of sugar because this is very sour. The syrup is very sour so we have to add 2 tablespoons of sugar in this. I'm going to microwave it for 1 minute. We need to dissolve the sugar. You can put it on gas stove also. Of course you have to use different vessel for that. After microwaving. We still need thinner consistency so that it get absorbed properly in the cake. So we'll add a little more water.
now the consistency is right it's a watery consistency what we need it take one piece of cake and put this cherry syrup evenly all over let it get absorbed properly Now as you can see the cake is nice and moist. Now we are going to put this one layer of whipped cream. You can leave the edges as you press the second layer on top of it it will spread automatically now put this dc red cherries generous amount of cherries spread it in evenly we prepare I'm going to put this second layer of cake over here. Sugar syrup. Or you can use this sugar syrup first and then put that layer over that layer that will also do now wait that the sugar syrup to get settled or get absorbed here Now put nice layer of generous layer of whipping cream on the top. You can use it on sides as well. Cover from all the sides properly. This cake is nicely covered with whipping cream all over. Now I'm going to put some whipping cream in a piping bag with the star nozzle. Mix and flour it. Now these flourets are ready. Now going to sprinkle some chocolates in the center here. And some you can put on the sides as well. Take some in your hands and just stick it lightly to the sides. On the sides all over. 
extra chocolates you can pick up. From all the sides. For extra decoration, you can add some florets down here. Put some cherries on the top. And this, yum this yummy chocolate forest cake is ready. It is preferred to make this cake one day before serving so that all the syrup get nicely absorbed in the cake and you get moist and nicely flavored cake. My family's favorite black forest cake is ready now. I am going to enjoy this new year with my family. You also make this cake and enjoy with your family. Thanks for watching this recipe. For more recipes, keep on watching World of Recipes.